Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I do have a movie playing because I'm getting ready to go to bed. But I wanted to come on here and do a quick story time video for you all. So, let's go back to what happened on Friday. So Friday got off of work around 5.20ish. I think I found left work around 5.25, 5.30. And I was heading to the mall to meet my mom there because she and I were going to go see skyscrapers which um, should have been posted on Saturday but another, be another movie review that we just went to go see today got posted on that day instead so I need to go fix that but that's all topic um so anyways like I was saying on Friday I was heading to the mall to meet my mom well, I get to the light, so if you know Vancouver, or if you've ever visited Vancouver, you know that you have two ways, actually you have three ways to get into the mall. You have Upper Fourth Plain and Bear Mall Drive. You have Bear Mall Drive way on the other side of the mall by Dutch Brothers and Chase. And you have the entrance right off, right off of SR500. And I don't remember the street name, but it's the other way to get into it. Well, I was coming from work, and because the light at the um, one street, Thurston Way, had just turned, I went up to Van Mall Drive to turn off of Fourth Plane into Van Mall Drive. Well, okay, so I turn into Van Mall Drive, I get into the right lane because I know I'm going to turn right when we go into the mall because JC Penney's has really good shade on the upper side of it after a certain time and we were going to be there until at least 8 maybe 9 o'clock well I there's a car behind me and then there's another car that pulled out of the thing and I'm not sure if it was a car because they were both the same making color well the car that turned out of it went and turned left, so it probably was the car behind me had went and cut me off. So I laid down my horn, like, dude, that was uncool, I was right behind you. Well, he decided that he was going to slam on his brakes, and Lily, I had like three choices. A, hit him, B, stole my car, or C, try to pass him. The problem was there was a car next to me. Um, the car that originally was before me had went to the left lane. So I could not like we had gotten stuck at the light and all of that. And he was in front of the car because he passed the guy in front of me and went in front of him. Well he Literally, there was like this much space when he went to go past me. So he literally cut me off. So I honked on my horn. The next thing I know, he slams on his brakes. I literally either had to pray to God that my brakes worked, which thank goodness my brakes worked, because that could have been a really bad accident. And it would have been A, my fault, because I didn't stop in time, and B, his fault, because he was being a jerk. And so he sat there for a few seconds, and I'm like, come on, let's go, like, move it, because the right lane is not a stop. Like, you don't have to stop. Left lane, you have to stop. Right lane, you don't. And he was sitting there for at least a minute and a half. He's like, move, like, go. So he turns right, I turn right. I purposely, not purposely, followed him. I purposely went to go turn my car into JC Penney's so I can make sure that A my car is okay, B there's no dents or anything. Well the guy had parked in a spot and I was I was going to wait until he went to go um, into the mall and he, like he sat there for a second and, and you know I'm sure he was trying to follow where I was going so that way he could harass me even more well somehow 
so I gave him the finger because he was a mean ass. The guy that was driving past that I flipped him off, and I wasn't flipping him off, I'm like, sorry, not flipping you off, flipping him off. And literally within a second, like, he turned around, and literally, like, my car is here. He parked his car like this. And I put my car in reverse. I made sure that there's no one behind me. I didn't want to deal with him coming out after me. And I put my car in reverse, and I went to go turn. Well, because I couldn't see the car beside him, luckily the car beside him had stopped and let me go through, um, because that could have been bad, and I could have gotten another accident. And to this point, I was already shaking like a little leaf, and like I parked my car to the point where he could not see it like I waited until he left and I called my mom and I was like hey just so you know that I almost had an accident because some asshole cut me off and I slammed on his brakes after I honked my horn and I flipped him off well I posted it on Facebook that I was so freaking mad frustrated which I am going to link the, mess the comment that the post I made down below in the description bar for you guys so you guys can see it um, long story short, I was at a birthday party on Saturday, and the mom was like, you shouldn't have flipped the person off, and I'm like, how would you know that I flipped them off, unless you were in the car, or be it was somebody else that you know was driving the other car. So, right now, I think I know who it was driving the other car, because that's the only way I can think of, plus I didn't mention it on Facebook. So, I'm sure that's what happened. Um, but, I will let you guys go, and I will see you guys the next time for another video. I hope next week I'll be back to my regular schedule. Hopefully this heat is gone, because it's been 90 degrees for a few days. Like, it's 80 something right now, so I don't think I'm going to bed anytime soon. Yeah. But I will see you, see you guys soon. Bye, guys.